the, the procedure used to appoint Sembeguya as the supplier. I'm not talking about talking about Sembeguya. I really recognize and applaud the enthusiasm of questioning Sembeguya and his, uh, the way we appointed, uh, the way we contracted him. And I pledge, sir, because my office, our office is in Entebbe, the office of, this, uh, of these people are diverse. If we were to wait now for the information, I can tell you certainly that it will be very no, difficult that, for that, us. that one had not yet made a ruling. Yes, sir. The only thing I wanted to deal with yes, sir. is that we are dealing with a matter which is not an audit issue. No, no, no. The, the, the matter is an audit issue. It, it is an audit issue because it features number nine. Yes, sir. But the, the matter of how we got here. No, no, no. The moment it is a matter of the audit, mm -hmm. your, why we call with all your staff is to prepare that once this matter is brought before us, all the contending information. That's why we've called the officer who is in charge, not you, sir. That's why we've called the officer who is in charge, who should know, who should... Because once you take over office, don't you peruse the, the file and get to be acquainted with the details. So the excuse you are giving, you know, I came at, even then you came at the tailor end. The end, you were there. Whether you were at the tailor end, it doesn't matter. But the, then you examine the whole animal. You just follow the tail. Chair. Yes. Thank you very much, Chair. Chair, it is uh, really very sensitive. And you know, when you take over office, you become responsible for both the assets and liabilities. And in this case, Gods have died. I would expect the officer to interest himself immediately to find out what the problem is, but also to look at the contractual obligation that was entered uh, in line with seeing whether you can salvage, you can hold the supplier responsible maybe to, to replace the goods. And uh, from uh, a professional perspective, procurement issues are issues that are of public nature. For to secure a service provider like this one, definitely due processes must have taken place. And that information is available somewhere. It is not information that is very far. So it would only be prudent that uh, that information is available. Then we look at the contract Honorable. and see how we can salvage this. These yes. goods died within the first week of delivery. You should note that it's a serious issue. First week of delivery, Mr. Chairman, that's when the goats died. Do you know? Thank you. So let's delivery. take this seriously. The procurement process, the, the trace of this procurement and how it was handled, what leading to what contract was signed, is available somewhere. It is archived. It should be brought and then we look at it. Chair. Chair. Let me have the vice. Then. Uh, Basil. Chair. I observe that there is a lot of dishonesty, uh, sorry to say from the officer that made the submission. Because in your own opinion, in your own docket, if there is an observation of a project that has close to 50% failed, you cannot come and casually make a submission as if something is too normal. You cannot claim that you, you were handed over an office and your predecessor did not give a record of what happened prior. So, uh, Honorable Chair, good enough, we are, we've also been where you are. You cannot claim that you don't have the procurement action files for that activity. Chair, I pray that the procurement action file, right from initiation, from the users, the initiators of the project, is brought before we proceed with this assignment. Actually, if he's, uh, I don't know his position, but I believe you have so many officers under you. And I doubt whether that very file is kept under your, your safe as a special, you know, as a special file. So, Chair, I would request that for us to proceed very well, the officer needs to submit this important document because that will lead you into the other abnormal, abnormal aspects of an entity getting such, this is, this is a scam of getting such a scam and you look not to be bothered. Your officer is, is casually submitting as if everything is moving on very well. So, Honorable Chair, we would like to have a submission of the procurement, a detailed procurement action file 
for this very activity. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chair. <coughs> I do not want to depart from <coughs> sorry, the submission of the Vice Chair to the committee, the Honorable Goretti. Uh, but I want to add my voice that um, these are issues of accountability. And we should take serious note, uh, I think the accounting officer should know, that if the goats, for example, died in the very first week, anybody would be interested to know this sub is it as a result of disease or as a result of a felony on the other side of the supplier. And then if it is, if you find out, then you take uh, action. If it is, for example, the supplier's fault, then you take action. But I may want to take note that even now, when the, we are talking about 15 billion that was dying, but I have picked interest also to note that each goat uh, was, you, you know we are talking about how the supplier was sourced. Each indigenous goat was 398,000 shillings. 300? 398,000 shillings. That's is, a unit cost? Yes, per goat. That's fair. They were indigenous? I, Yes, I can say fair if they are uh, good size. But the one I picked interest in is the, is the imported goats. They are 71. It is f uh, 528 eh? million. 528 million. So this makes the goat how much? Seven point something. Uh, Seven point four. Uh, bra bra. Per goat. Shillings per goat. Uh, th this brings me to the the rats we we dealt with some time back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, no Basil, be very affirmative. So yes. that you've looked at two aspects. Now we are taking it to detail. Yes. I'm not well, yes, I am um, uh, now, uh, after bringing this. No, I want you to say I the things very, very clearly. Yes, I am now stating yes. the uh, facts after bringing you that background. So the indigenous now, one, one which was bought for 398,000. The exotic the, one? To me, that is a fair price, given that sometimes it takes long to pay the supplier, and the suppliers also take. Uh, credit from banks. So, but this one of 7.4 million <coughs> per, per goat is, is something that I wanted to be explained how it was sourced and eventually purchased at that cost, especially if the method of procurement has not been clearly indicated. But also, the third issue is once an officer takes office and you see that there is high mortality rate, you take interest to know why. So has this mortality rate been reversed? Is this supplier still in action in the next financial year? And what happened? Can, can I first let him, eh? because we seem to, there are other members who have just come and may I request you, Quickly to introduce yourself. Chair, I'm, I'm called Dr. Joseph Rionga. I'm MP Wema West and member of this committee. 